And what's up you guys, welcome to the Mango Grove, my name is Krisha, and this is part 1 of the Mango Dashboard Tutorial Series. Now in this video, I'll be walking you through how to create an account on the Mango Dashboard, as well as the beautiful brand new referral system that we have introduced on this dashboard that can either get you a 10% discount forever, or hell, even a free month moving forward. Okay, now as far as the tutorial is concerned, I'll be walking you through the various very powerful filters on the Mango Dashboard and how you can use them together to mold this dashboard around your trading style. In addition to that, I'll also be walking you through how to read and extrapolate the right information from the various trends given to us. Okay, now it goes without saying that we always implore you guys to never use any indicator in isolation and that goes with the dashboard as well. Always try and back up any sort of trade hypotheses with other risk management and price analysis techniques. Alrighty. Now with that guys, let's jump into how to use the Mango Dashboard. Now to get on over to the Mango Dashboard, you first need to get on over to app.mangoresearch.co. That is app.mangoresearch.co. As soon as you do that, you'll be presented with this beautiful page. Now right off the bat, you'll notice that you have some coins and there are their respective trends available to you. However, most of it has been grayed out. Now that is because for those of you looking to try out a free version of the dashboard, you actually have 27 different crypto cryptocurrencies as well as their respective trends for free. In addition to that, you'll also have these indexes on top and the values associated with them for free. Okay, now the indexes is the US 10 year yield, the US 30 year, Dixie, Bitcoin dominance, and the fear and greed index. Currently, the market is sitting at fear. Very, very fearful. Dixie, by the way, I'm sorry, I assume that Dixie is the US dollar index. Now, many of you guys know that at Mango, we also like looking at the macro lens landscape of things, especially the flow of money, because that ultimately gives us that extra edge we need in terms of understanding where's the money at. Is the market risk on right now or risk off? Right? Determining that um, the answer to that question will give us that extra edge that we need in the crypto market as well. Alrighty, now with that, let's get into the meat of this tutorial. Now, first off, I want to draw your attention to this button on the bottom left-hand side con corner that says free premium. Just go ahead and click on it. Okay, as soon as you click on it, if you're wondering what is free premium, can I get access to the premium dashboard for free? Yes, there is a way actually. It says how to get premium for free. Step one. Head to your account to copy your referral code. Yes, every person will be given a referral code. Okay, step two, share the link with your friends so they can get 10% off on premium forever. Forever, guys. Step three, once they sign up for premium, you'll receive a free month. It stacks up, so the more friends you refer, the more premium months you get for free. Alrighty, so if you're someone who's brand new to the dashboard, I implore you to grab one of your friend's referral codes if you have a friend using the dashboard, of course. Go ahead and grab your friend's referral code, that way you can bag the 10% discount on your premium access forever. That's right, forever. Okay, however, if you're someone who already has an account and you want to get your next month for free, well, I suggest keep taking your referral code and while well, sharing it with a friend who is also interested in the crypto market and getting them on over to the Mango dashboard as well. That way, your next month is also going to be free. All right, now that's one way wherein you can get access to the premium features for free. Now, if you're new to the dashboard and um, you have someone's referral code, Great job. Go ahead, copy paste that referral code, get on over to the log login page. Now, for those of you who already have an account with us, go ahead and log in. For those of you who do not have an account with us and you got to create one and hey, you have a referral code with that too. Awesome. You just got to fill in your email, password, there'll be a password check and this is where you enter your referral code. As soon as you do that, you'll be asked to fill in a CAPTCHA and then register. Cool beans, cool beans. Now, since I already have an account up here, I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, and as soon as you log in, guys, you'll be presented with full access to the Mango Dashboard. Now, right off the bat, I want you to notice that we have a few of these filters already selected for us. Okay, now the top two bars right here are going to be our filters. 
this first section of filters, this is your time frames. Four hour time frame, 12 hour daily time frame, two day time frame, four day time frame, as well as weekly time frame. The second section of filters that come after, well, you have top returns. You can just hover your mouse over that to see what it says, top returns. The second one is bullish Ichimoku setup, which we'll be going over in a bit. And the third one is the bearish Ichimoku setup, which we'll be going over once again in a bit. The second line of filters, we have margin. So all the coins that you can trade on margin will appear here as soon as I toggle that on. The second set of filters is all. So basically, this will give you all the cryptocurrency pairs that you have on this list. Okay, if I scroll down, you can see the amount of cryptocurrency entries we have here, which is around 444 cryptocurrency entries. We are pulling in data from Binance right now, as well as KuCoin. So any of the coins that are traded on both those exchanges will be available to you on the dashboard. So, so the coin that you're looking at, as well as the associated trend. Now, this dashboard is powered by a very, very powerful algorithm at the back that actually calculates these trends for us. So you'll be given the tell as soon as the trend changes on any particular asset that you are looking at between these two exchanges, okay? Binance as well as KuCoin. Of course, there's going to be overlaps with a whole bunch of other exchanges, but for now, this is what we have. Do we intend on introducing more exchanges in here? Of course, we're always looking to buff, buff up the dashboard. In fact, we've already had uh, quite a few new additions to the dashboard, which I will be going over in a bit. But, but now getting back on over to the filters, like I said, the second section of, um, of filters here is all BTC and USDT. Now, what is that? Well, this dashboard consists of different pairings. Okay, we have USDT pairings as well as Bitcoin pairings. Now, if you want to only trade the Bitcoin pairings, you can actually just toggle on the Bitcoin pairings and it will only give you all the Bitcoin pairings. If you only want to trade the USDT pairings, all you got to do is toggle on USDT and it will only give you the USDT pairings. Okay, now back on over to all. Now, the third section of filters allows you to filter out the coins by the trend. Okay, so if you have no biases on the chart, you're willing to take long positions as well as short positions. Well, you can just toggle on all, which it's already on, and that will give you all the positions. Okay, if you're only looking to take a long position, right, and long equals bullish, guys, long equals bullish, you're looking to buy the underlining asset. You can just go ahead and click on long, and it will only give you everything that's switched to long, everything that's got a bullish trend on it. Okay. However, if you're only looking to go short, you're only looking to sell an underlining asset, all you got to do is toggle on short. All right, and it'll give you all the short trend changes. Now, can you use these filters in conjunction with each other? Of course you can, okay? And this is how you can mold the dashboard around your trading style and around your trading personality. Say, for instance, I am a, uh, I'm a scalp trader. Okay, I'm only looking to capitalize on the very, very tiny ranges. All I got to do is get on over to the four hour time frame. I'm like, okay, I just want to get in and out. Okay, but I only want to take longs. Now, I have no biases. I'm willing to trade the Bitcoin pairings and I'm also willing to trade the USDT pairings. So I can just click on all. But hey, I want to trade this on leverage. I want to go, um, I want to go margin long. I don't be able to borrow money from the exchange to put on my respective trade. All I got to do is toggle on the margin. Now, this list is basically all the coins on the four hour time frame that are currently bullish, okay, and that I can trade using leverage. Okay, so there's Atom, BNB, Zcash, um, Monero, Near, uh, Zcash once again, and Ethereum Classic. Okay, if I only want to see the Bitcoin pairings, well, all I got to do is this hit the Bitcoin pairings, and voila. Okay, but that's how you can use these filters together. Now, how about if you are a range trader? What would your filters look like, right? Let's, let's go ahead and reset these filters once again, right? For a range trader, now I have been trading the ranges recently and I like uh, playing the ranges on the two-day time frame. So what I'm going to do is toggle on over to the two-day time frame. Okay, now I am only looking for short positions, guys. So what I'll do is toggle on short and I'm only looking to trade the USDT pairings. Okay, and margin only. Beautiful. Now, these are all the coins that meet my criteria for a range trade. Alrighty, all the coins that are looking bearish right now, coins that are ripe for the selling, and more importantly, all the coins that I can actually short sell using leverage. 
Okay, and once again, if you're a trend trader, all you got to do toggle on over to the weekly time frame. Now I as a trend trader, when I want to switch to a trend trade, I usually toggle on over to the weekly time frame. Of course, you are open to picking any time frame you want. And say I'm I have no biases, I'm looking to, to take a long or a short, I just want to make money. And you know what, because I'm holding a whole bunch of bags, um, I'm, I don't care too much about the margin aspect of things. Because even if the call helps me save money, I'll take it. And so this is the entire list that I can pick from. But now let's go ahead and talk about how do you read and extrapolate the right information from each line, right? How do I usually interpret the information from this Mango dashboard? Well, let's just go ahead and go back on over to the four hour time frame. first off. Okay. Now you're going to notice that we have symbol, price, change, volatility, trend, reversal, returns, and volume. So we'll be going over each of these criteria and I'll tell you what it really means and how do I interpret the information on this. Okay, so now the first symbol, let's just take Bitcoin as the example. BTC USDT, I think that's pretty straightforward. This is essentially marking the pairing, all right? It's giving us the current price. So the price column right here is the current price of the underlying asset. Okay, the change that you see here is the 24 hour change. What that means is that in the past 24 hours, how much has Bitcoin either risen by or dropped by, right? What is the volatility on that bin? So it says that in the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has gone down by minus 3.56%. The volatility is a new feature that we have introduced on the dashboard, and I'll be explaining that in a bit. Now let's get on over to the trend. Now there are three types of trends, short, long, and neutral. Short equals bearish long equals bullish and neutral is giving us a sign of consolidation okay where price is just ranging in a very very um tight zone all right that's the trend reversal is when did the trend flip all right returns is if you caught a trade based on this trend change how much have you made on that trade and the volume guys is the total volume traded on that particular pairing Okay, the total volume traded right now on Bitcoin USDT is, is 2,447 million. All right, so the way I would read this is Bitcoin USDT flipped short six hours ago. And if you took a trade on that short position, you're down by 0.91%. Similarly, Luna USDT flipped long 3.8 days ago. If you caught a trade on that, you're up by a good 10.11%. Ethereum USDT flipped short 18 hours ago. If you caught a trade based on that, you're up by a good 2.66%. Right, so that is how you can interpret the data given to you on this Mango dashboard. Now getting on over to the volatility, which is a brand new um, indicator featured on the dashboard. Now the volatility has been pretty freaking on point so far. Okay, now here's how the volatility goes. The volatility, guys, is an index that tells us how volatile is an under underlining asset. How volatile is an underlining cryptocurrency? Is it super, super volatile or is the volatility very low? So now this volatility number goes from a spectrum of 0 to 100, wherein 0 is super, super, super low volatility and 100 is super, super, super high volatility. If it's in the single digits, you're going to see it flash blue, like this dark blue. If it's uh, a bit cool, like if it's in the double digits, but still low on the spectrum, you'll see it flash a little light blue, sky blue, right? If it is um, moderate, if the, if the volatility is a bit moderate, then you'll see it flash orange, okay? However, if it's ticking up into the 60s, then it's more of this light red. And if it is super, super high getting into the 80s or the 90s or hell, even 100, you'll see it flash danger red. Now, how do we interpret the volatility numbers and tie it into the trend? Now, let's go through the entire spectrum. Let's start with low volatility. Let's take a single digit volatility like Luna on the four hour time frame right now. When I say super, super low volatility on the chart, I'm saying that this is likely range bound in on this current time frame. Luna right now is range bound and that range is really, really tight which means that Luna is expecting the next impulsive move to come in. It has not come in just yet, but it is about to trigger soon. But question is, which direction should I be looking at? Do you think Luna is going to break to the upside or to the downside? And for that, I'm going to look at the trend. The trend right now is telling me that Luna is looking bullish. It's currently in an uptrend. So the probability right now is that Luna actually breaks. When the impulsive move does come in, it's likely going to break to the upside. Now, volatility is still low, but it is in the double digits. 
Okay, once again, it's telling me that, hey, there's low volatility. All right, the trend is short. Telling me that, okay, you know what? This short trend signal, it still has a lot more time to play out. Okay, there might be a bit more oomph from the bears. Okay, there's a bit more opportunity on BNB USDT. How about if you're at moderate volatility? Okay, AVAX USDT sitting at 41 flashing orange. Now, this is telling me that, all right, this is, uh, it's not reached a climax just yet. The volatility hasn't gotten up to the point where it's at the danger zone. Right now, it's sitting at a moderate level, telling us that, all right, the bears have a bit more oomph and it might drive this down a bit further. So AVAX USDT at a volatility of 41. This flipped short 22 hours ago. And if you caught a trade on that, you're up by 2.39%. But looking at the volatility, I think AVAX can go down further, which can yield me a better return. All right, now this is a coin with moderate volatility. Let's go on over to the high volatility coins. Now, UMA USDT is sitting at 90, guys. It's flashing 90, flashing danger, telling me that, okay, it could have a bit more oomph, but not that much. This is looking a bit frothy here. At which point I will be looking for a pullback on the chart if I'm looking to position on this coin. Right now, UMA USDT is long. This long trend change came to us 14 hours ago. And if we caught a trade on that, we're up by a good 21.54%. Okay. However, 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 volatility is high right now, telling us that this is looking frothy, right? Perhaps either consider taking profits or if you're looking to get into a position on UMA USDT, it might be prudent to wait on a pullback. So usually when I see things flashing red, if I'm in a position, I'll take a bit off the table. If I'm not in a position and I'm looking to get a position, I wait for the pullback either onto support or at another key level. Okay, telling me that there is a better bid to be had. Wait for the better bid. Patience is going to be key. But that's how you interpret the volatility index on the dashboard. Now, as far as these three filters are concerned, I think the first one is pretty self-explanatory, right? Top returns. If you click on top returns, you'll get all the top performing all coins on the four hour time frame. Notice if I switch on over to the 12 hour, that list changes. If I switch on over to the daily, that list changes, so on and so forth. Now for the other two indicators on here, which is the bullish Ichimoku setup as well as the bearish Ichimoku setup, well, we at Mango use the Ichimoku cloud pretty aggressively in our daily analysis, as many of you guys know. Okay, now each setup consists of four to five criterias. All four to five criterias need to be ticked off in order for this to go off. So there's a whole bunch of things that has to go through in order for this to flash bullish. Okay, and trust me, this can be very, very powerful. It usually ends up being a very, very good directional call. Now, for instance, I want you to look at all the top performers on this list. A bullish Ichimoku setup that went off 4.3 days ago. If you caught a trade on that, you're up by a good 57%. Once again, Waves BDC, 47%. KNC USDT, 43%. Also notice the Ichimoku setup right here. Rune USDT, 47%. Notice the Ichimoku setup right here. Torn USDT, 37%. Notice the Ichimoku setup right here. Right, so this is usually a brilliant, brilliant way to filter out and give yourself an additional edge if you're looking for a bullish or a bearish setup. And that's why we've added this. And yes, once again, guys, you can use it in conjunction with the rest of the, uh, of the filters. Okay, for instance, I'm currently on the four hour time frame. It doesn't have to be in the top returns, but I'm looking for bearish calls only on the short side only, and I'm not going to discriminate between the pairings. Let's do all pairings, but I'm only looking for coins that I can trade on margin. And voila. Alrighty, I can filter them out like this. And once again, depending on which time frame you're looking at, that list can change. Okay, because remember, this is a very dynamic dashboard. It's, it's extrapolating all of this information from various time frames, and that information can change. Okay, so on the four hour time frame, this is what meets our criteria, and I will only be looking at coins that meet this criteria right here. And notice the volatility, they're all scrunched up, telling us that, okay, the next directional move is likely going to be a short position. And so far, quite a lot of them have been doing well, okay, based on the trend changes. So now this is how you extrapolate the information from the dashboard and this is how you read it. Now I know that this has been a lot for you guys to take in, but hey, if you have any doubts on anything that has been explained so far, just mention the comment section below and I'll be happy to help. 
Okay, now in the next video, we'll be going over the mango view, which is also a new feature that was recently introduced on the dashboard. Okay, the mango view right here, which is mango's charting tool. However, it's got a bit more juice to it. And we'll be going over that in the next one. I'll see you guys there. Ciao.